Hello everybody. Welcome back. We are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring and this time we're doing some more salt and pepper shakers. I've already taped off the rims. You might be able to see that. And I've already got the colors poured. Colors are Amsterdam's version of light magenta. I forget what they call it. And Amsterdam's version of deep magenta. Also forget what they call it. And then I have Amsterdam silver. So all Amsterdam colors. The Amsterdam deep magenta, whichever one that is for them. It's going to dry dark. Uh, the light one shouldn't dry too much darker. So there should be some good contrast there, especially with the silver mixed in with that. I'm going to go ahead and put some pink on the corners just to get them real good. All right, let's start pouring. I'll try to do it with my left hand so that you guys have a better view. We actually have a peekaboo over on this side.
right, let's bring you all in for a closer look. All right, just bringing you in for a closer look. You can see some of the cells that formed just from the Amsterdam mixing. A little bit on that side. This is the side you all were on. And this one. So that's those two. Here's a dry picture of them. All right, moving on to our next two. All right, for this set, I haven't decided what colors to do yet. Let's do, okay, I'm going to tell you the colors in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get this on the corners. If that looks a little thick, that's because it is. It's the metallic, so I don't mind it being a little bit thicker than the other colors. Okay, so the colors are going to be Go Title Pearl Rose, Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red, Naples, Naples Yellow Red, and then Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet Light. I think those will be a good combination. Let's go ahead and pour. Got a big peekaboo on this one. <laughs> we'll get that on the second pour. We'll give that time to run.
still managed to miss that spot. Okay, starting to get some cells. I wanted to try to get some to get some uh, interesting work going on to keep it interesting. We'll put it that way. But I also have another plan that I want to see if it will work. And that is, I've got some leftover titanium white that has some silicone in it. So I'm going to kind of swipe the side and see what happens. I think that will be pretty. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing or not. Maybe when I get to the one that's closer to you. I'm going to have to get in your all's way. Okay, I think it was worth a try, but I'm not crazy about it. So before I clean this off and do these colors again, let me bring you in and show you what I was attempting. And I managed to turn it off, so. <laughs> um, so you, I was trying to kind of do a swipe. Didn't quite work though, as you can see. The concepts there. But I think once it's dry, it's not going to be very pretty. Although the titanium does have the colors show through a little bit. So maybe I'll try something else on this one. And see if that idea works since I'm going to redo these anyhow. Nope, don't like that either. I was kind of letting it do a self swipe by letting the gravity pull the white down, which is kind of working, but it's still not doing what I was wanting it to. Try to burn some of that oil off. I'm just going to leave it as it is and pour the new colors over top. 
Oh, you know what? No, I can use a different brand of pearl rose. We're good. Never mind. Let's torch this one more time just to burn any oil. I'm not, I know it's not going to get it all off. Don't worry. But at least we can get some of it off. So same colors except the, uh, the um, metallic is now Arteza Pearl Magenta because I didn't have any more Go Title Pearl Rose. And it was mixed in the same cup as the Pearl Rose. So there'll be little shades of that in there as well. Give that a chance to run down. Go ahead and pop any bubbles since it was fresh made. We definitely have some white in there. So um, on this side over here, on that corner, this corner, this corner, so, we'll try to get rid of some of that white. Okay, let's bring y'all in for a closer look. So here we go. You can see a lot of the metallic in there. We'll have to see how that dries. You can see some of the cells I was trying to pull up to. This one has a lot of the cells. You can see a little bit of the white there. 
I was hoping the paint would go over it, but it just would not go over it. Here's a dry picture. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.